Alright, hello, welcome back to Let's Play Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. We've gathered all three chocolate fruits, and now let's present them to the, the Great Chuckle Root. You found all three chocolate fruit types. I am amazed. Very well, you may pass. Very well, go. Ah, what the? Oh, oh yes, the path is open. We were stuck, or we couldn't get past here. See? Sitting here and wait for a couple of schmoes was brilliant. All right, we're getting less enough. Wasting more time. We're going, see? There we go. I there is a cons there is the accent I'm gonna use for popple. All right, stuff here. Money. Mushroom. Refreshing herb. And one up shroom. Let's go. Save album if you need it, which I don't. What do we need a drink? So duh. What do we dip so called the death? Pop. A hippie's favorite soda? Granola cola. Dear Lord, this guy's jokes are horrible. My name is Bubbles. Damn, you're old. I built Chateau the Chocolat. I found the Chocolat Cola Incorporated. And I am the ultimate comedian with the laughing at the short length of Har Har Har! <laughs> yes, Monsieurs. Indeed, what you see before you is the most legendary of the soldiers. The Chocolat Reserve. And I am pleased to tell you that this Chocolat Reserve is yours to enjoy. So, how did you we beat him? Well, Bowser and a uh, popple to it. Ha ha! Har he har! I have been war I've worked on a chocolate reserve for one thousand years, telling a joke after joke so I want to mature and mature some more, and yet more. Till last, if the greatest soda of all can be complained with the fizz and the tastiness. Because the soda is such high caliber and repute to ruin our guests will be a fate such as this. Un, du, toi. That, that's no one in your soda, see? We can't stand up for, to such a vet beverage. Gah! The Great Chuckle Reserve is a thing to savor. The, the, the flavor and the tang and the yum in the belly. Whoa, the crap! The thing's alive! Ah, uh, it is wonderful. So wonderful. The Great Soda shines. However! That was not the only hidden power, sort of power my jokes have bred over 1,000 years! Now it's as you feel experience the texture, taste, and aroma of Chocolate Reserve! Bon appetit! Alright, looks like it's a boss battle! He has two attacks. That sword attack you just saw. And a, I'm actually gonna... Attack him with, with hammer because I want to get rid of that shield. It, it is actually able to be destroyed. Wait, how do Luigi's hammer do more damage than Mario's? There we go. And the other one is by that gun he has. All right, let's start attacking him. First with the Knocknet Back Brothers. 44 damage, nice! Ow! Ow! I suppose it won't be a problem with the Chopper Brothers! <laughs> ah! A little late. Gotcha! This guy can actually act three times in one turn. And I just landed right on that. There we go, that's a good one. And it didn't kill in one shot like the Wiggler. And eventually, ah, I keep on forgetting which one to press. Damn it! 
Ow, frick! Oh, Mario. Mario! Let's heal Mario again. <sighs> why don't why aren't I as careful as I used to be? Must be the LP curse. Crap! Again! Crap! There we go! Alright, and eventually he restricts to that size. That means he is close to dying. Or at death, whatever. Mario levels up, awesome, level 13. Okay, let's go with defense, because Lord knows Mario needs it. Luigi levels up too, awesome! And let's go with Stash, I really like to upstash in Luigi, <laughs> it appears. No, but but the jumps, the pots, the humor I've saved up um, the last one thousand years. What's going on here, dude? You're freaking me out. Au revoir. All right, there's the chuckle reserve, and there's Mario right into it. Whatever. And Luigi. This is gonna be the, the first time that the brothers are are, are separated forcibly. And Luigi is gonna be... is inevitably gonna be... Yeah, I have... I've been doing save states. Sue me. I don't... Luigi is going to be at a higher level than Mario. And as you can see, this is the first time he, he battles alone. And so we only have the B button to work with. Wait, what? Ah! Let my guard down for that one second! <laughs> Just... Uh, out of confusion! <laughs> Let's take care of this thing! Alright. Almost got him. But not quite. If I remember correctly, there is one instance where Mario is the only playable character, other other than that Bowser battle. Okay, so Mar uh, Luigi now has suppressed Mario in experience points. Alright, we're at Mario now. Ooh, stuff! Mostly coins, whatever. Alright, let's push this barrier with Mario in it. Whoa, it's going into the water. <laughs> and it... And we're seem to be outside the, the castle. And, and we're in the castle there. And it looks like Mario's consumed all the Chocola Reserve. <laughs> well, look at this! A very Mario-esque fella, uh, Lou, uh, some other guy. <laughs> what? What is it? Mario's got his fill to the brim with Chocola Reserve and sloshing around his inside? Gross! That, that's terrible! Let's start discussing! We must contact Lady Lime immediately! And by the way, what's the color reserve? Shh, I have no idea! <laughs> Quit being hesitant, deep in sleep, as just as you see her now. Did you truly some, say something to color reserve? Yes, I have, and let me explain what you, what the flavors are well, before I give them to her. It's been a, a brood for a 
One thousand years being given horrible puns! It has some, this, uh, some of the flavors of the Chocola of no fruits, uh, as well as the waters of the Chocola, and as with a hint of, no, uh, of, of cherry, and, and uh, with this particular reserve, it has the exclusive honor of having that slight Mario taste. There it is, there's the bell bridge war. And it's ugly as hell. And she's transformed back to her normal self. <laughs> oh success! And truly repugnant, yet truly tremendous success! Queen Beat has returned! To normal, yes. Ah, that is the hardest I've laughed in a long, long time! Well done, Lady Lima! No, Your Highness, it is not I, but rather Mario Brothers, whom you must thank. Hmm, so Cockletta has stolen the Princess Peach's voice and the Spin Star. It was just my fault. Nonsense, why would Cockletta spear the Dinosaur Princess' voice in the first place? Yeah, well, why? The Beast Star is the protector of this land, and it has power to grant any and all desires. To prevent such power from being used for evil, the Beast Star was cast into a deep sleep. It is said that a voice of great beauty is required to wake the Beast Star from its slumber. It must be the voice of pure and noble soul. And in this day and age, Princess Peach is the only one who possesses such a voice. Really? Lame. So the reason Cacleta stole Princess Peach's voice... Aha! She must plan to awaken the beast to fulfill all her desires! Ultimate power, I'm guessing. There's no mistaking her one true desire. To rule the world. Of course! <laughs> Bill not I foresaw this desire of hers long, long ago. We are prepared. For card for card, we have better hand than she. Your Highness, Prince Peasley has arrived! Perfect timing! Master Mario, Master Luigi! Head out to meet Prince Peasley! Alright, we will. And I think we're actually running low on time, so in the next episode, we are going to meet up with Prince Peasley and get the situation from him. So, uh, um, until next time, see you later.